Welcome back. The Commerce Department released its gross domestic product numbers for the state last week. When it comes to fastest growing states, Texas landed in the top 10. Our booming oil production and mining industry have contributed to the economy's strong growth. Here to shed some more light on this topic, Ed Curtis, CEO of Why Texas. Ed, thanks so much for joining us. Thanks for having me, Yvonne. So why do you believe that Texas did so well in the report here? You know, I think Texas has a much more diverse economy than most people think. You know, there's job growth over the last 10 years in Texas has led the nation um, in uh, both high, low, and middle income jobs. Mm -hmm. uh, when you see these numbers, there are 11 major industries that were affected by positive job growth, anything from professional services to manufacturing to technology. Talk about why Texas. You're the CEO of that company. Tell us more about your company and the goal. Well, we, we see a large number of companies moving into the state, not only multinational companies like Toyota, but small entrepreneurial companies where you may have, you know, five or ten people moving from another city into the state. And when we talk to them, there are a few things that they really need because there's a big burden on them when they're moving a large number of people. You think about a large relocation like Toyota, 4,000 people are moving into the state. Well, they all have families, they all have kids. So you're talking about 12,000 people if the average family has three people. So the burden of that is on the CEO or the leader of the company. Mm -hmm. So we had put together a group of CEOs in Texas, many of them who have experienced that before, and helping them get acclimated and get them, their feet on the ground, connected with the right people, understanding the entire landscape within Texas, how it works, and empower their people to uh, be productive when they get here. You hit some really important points, and that's, again, huge undertaking to move a business across country, sometimes across the world, and then the cultural differences. So many different acclimations. You definitely do have to get acclimated to a different way of life, and you make that transition smoother, don't you? We do, and you know, 30% of our CEOs are, are minority-owned and female-owned businesses. We have four or five different countries and 16 to 18 different cities represented. Uh, with the CEOs in our group. So I think that personal connection when you have someone that may be from your hometown yeah. and have done it before, it just makes things a lot easier for the leaders of these companies that are bearing a big burden. Yeah, just you and I, we were bonding over our Northeast connection. Right, yeah. <laughs> so before we go, though, you're actually going to be hosting a conference uh, with the governor's office called Made in Texas Small Business Forum. Where and when is it? Yes, it's next Thursday, June 26th in San Antonio at the uh, Briscoe Western Art Museum. Um, it's going to be with the Workforce Commission and the Office of Governors, and we're going to be uh, spotlighting four companies that have success successfully relocated into the state from different parts of the country and world. That's fantastic. Thank you so much, and you're doing a great job here. But again, more businesses that come here, more companies, more job growth, and, you know, it all goes from there. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thanks for having me.